Bible gives us seven rules that govern poverty. The first one is laziness. The second one is withholding tithes. The third one is hating correction. The fourth one is loving sleep. The fifth one is addictive behavior. Next one is stealing. And the last one is hastening to be rich quick. So Bible tells us these kind of habits always lead to poverty. And these kind of habits are usually one of them or many are found in poor people. Not poor financially, poor mentally. Because you can be having enough but having these kind of habits. People who are lazy, people who hate correction. You're about to go buy the vehicle and everybody tells you, listen, that might not be the best deal. No, because I got a five dollar for five cent raise in my work and I need to get a new vehicle. Or same thing happens with loving sleep. People instead of loving prayer, they love sleep and they sleep like a bear in the winter. <laughs> the Bible clearly says people who love sleep will not prosper. That's as simple as that. And that is the laws that govern poverty. This is in the Bible. People who say God is against prosperity. Well, if you obey the Bible, these things naturally lead to a life of prosperity. Addictive behavior. That means if you sleep with anything that moves, you're going to have unwanted pregnancies. Which means you have to drop out of school. Which next thing, at least you don't finish college. If you begin to drink, you're going to get a DUI. If you get a DUI, well they take your license and it's going to be $6,000. At $6,000 you can put a down payment on a house. And then you're trying to get a place, you can't get a place, they crank up your rent. And one thing leads to another. Guys, these are the things that poor decisions lead to poverty. The Bible says stealing. When we begin to cheat, when we begin to sell things to people, we know it's broken. But they don't know that. So we remove a light bulb out of a dashboard. Or we, we just simply say, hey, they didn't ask for it. They didn't ask the details. It is their job. And we give something to someone that is not good. And next thing that happens, the Bible says, it's what poor people do. And hastening to be rich quick. It's when you scroll through the TV and they, this guy comes up with a happy smile and some beautiful chick and that they're in Hawaii and they're saying that if you follow their program in three months, you will make $60,000. That's what poor people do. Because in three months, you can get in debt with $60,000. You're most likely not going to get $60,000. And if you'll get, you'll know what to do with them. God wants you... <laughs> God wants you to be the person who does not make poor decisions. God's word is so important. Church is so important. Not just God's not going to drop money in heaven. God drops his word in your mind. It changes how you think. It changes decisions that you make. And then it brings prosperity. 